everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 22nd, 2021. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, it is late on November 19th. Normally, I am way more organized than this. I was planning to batch film today. It's been a weird day. <laughs> Not a bad day, but just a weird day. And so I was like, I don't even have my normal setup. Here, I've still got my, my table, I didn't pull it out. That's back here, that's where it lives when I'm not filming. So we're just gonna do this message. And I also have two new decks that I will sort of uh, premiere, I guess, I don't know, at the end of the video. So if you wanna stick around for that, we'll have a little bonus message. If not, we'll use the regular cards in the beginning. So if you would like to get a personal reading with me, which can include an Akashic Records reading, those have been so cool. I, I'm having fun with them and I hope you guys are enjoying them too. Or an angelic message, obviously. Go to angelsouls444.com. You won't see an option for the Akashic Records reading. Just put that in your submission form and we'll work it out with you. Okay, so there is that, gumroad.com. Get on the meditation challenges, guys. I wanna know how you're liking them. Are you having a good experience? If you've already gotten it and you feel like, well, I didn't really, you know, nothing really happened. Go back and do it again and open up because a lot of times the way the angels work, and we should talk about this, the way the angels work is they will set something in front of you for you to work through. And people will say, well, I did the whole meditation challenge or I worked with the archangels and things just got worse, <laughs> right? They didn't get worse. You know, the things that you are working towards, you have to go through this lesson in order to get there. So they will set things in front of you, okay? So it's actually a gift. Now. Oh, I should mention I got my hair done today. Yeah, it's never gonna look like this again. <laughs> I might try to save this hair for tomorrow and, and at least try to get some of that batch filming done that I meant to do, but I met the coolest hairstylist today. Was super happy with him, but it was just like, other than that, it was just a weird day where I could not stay awake. I was so sleepy. Comment down below, because it was an eclipse, right? Check with an astrologer, but I think there was an eclipse. It's definitely a full moon, right? Woo, uh, it, it wiped me out. So anyway, there's all that stuff. So we're gonna get into <laughs> here. If you wanna put a timestamp below, say she rambles for the first however many minutes, it starts here, that's fine. For this week, that's fine because I am rambling. Anyway, let's get into it here. I'm gonna tune in, because I literally just sat down. Let's see what is happening for all of us. We're being asked to implement the changes. Well, it's funny because I was just saying, you know, the angels will put something in front of you that you have to work through. Uh, and it's time for us to do our work. Now, for many of us, it's a change in perception. And that can actually be incredibly freeing if we allow it. Uh, yeah, so things coming to light for us as individuals. Now, part of that is going to be, why do I feel the way that I do? Remember these videos and any kind of spiritual practice that is not a replacement for therapy. You have a brain as a physical human being. Make sure you get with a therapist if you have, you know, like deep psychological things that start to come up or you're working through trauma, any of that kind of stuff. Make sure you go and get with a really good therapist, okay? And don't be afraid. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? Um, but there's this feeling here of that changing that perception, things that you have become numb to that have, you know, They've controlled your life and you don't even know it, right? Uh, it, it's this feeling of being instantly free. And I know that sounds dramatic, but, and it won't come without a little bit of pain, but, you know, maybe if you're ca carrying a lot of shame or guilt or, you know, just pain from an incident from the past and you suddenly have this epiphany of that wasn't my fault, I'm not to blame for my traumas. I'm not to blame for whatever. Now, this is not so people can get off the hook for things that you actually have done, okay? <laughs> right? We do need to take accountability. I'm talking about things that you really, you know, those deep hurtful things that you carry around with you maybe, or uh, the pressure that you put on yourself, for example. I have Shamuel in here. Okay, so let's see what Shamuel has to say. Archangel Shamuel is all about living your fullest potential. And that comes with clearing away things that do not serve you. And she's also known as the Archangel of Love. So let's see what is going on here. Yeah, waking up to what is my true emotion and what is sort of a collective emotion and what's controlling that 
collective emotion. So we have, um, I'm getting this feeling to bring up these things in place. Think advertising, think TV shows, think music, you know, all of these things that are laid out that make us feel a certain way might shake us up a little bit. Okay. And then for whatever reason, we feel agitated. That goes out to the collective. Now everybody else is agitated. Today would have been one of those days. Now I didn't actually come across anybody who was agitated. I think a lot of people were just sort of um, edgy, but not rude. I mean, maybe I just got lucky, but, um, but yeah, it, it's understanding that and, and going, that's not mine. That's not mine. Or if somebody tries to make you, you know, feel bad about something, right? Like they've pulled something with you and they're trying to make you feel guilty. And you finally realize like, not just mentally, but throughout your entire being, that is not my problem. I didn't do this. Right? So it's changing your behavior based on a shift that is occurring, uh, about what you will accept. And I'm telling you, there's a real gift coming up here of being able to wake up. And when I say instant freedom, it's sort of like you're waking up and saying, I don't have to take that on. That's not mine. Okay. Or I'm feeling agitated or scared. Why? And giving yourself a chance to look at why you're feeling agitated or scared. Okay. Um, there's some nice connections that can be made. Not just this week. This is just, you know, from here on out, if you want to see it that way. Some people will be at each other's throats. We're going to start seeing, see, we've gotten spiritual practices all wrong. We've gotten it all wrong. People have gone to, if, if it's like, you know, I say don't spiritually sidestep or going into this delusional state of everything is just sunshine and rainbows. This is more about, we're going to see a division. People who are engaging in the fear or, um, you know, they have the opportunity, just like everybody, to wake up and have a different perception, but they're not there. Okay, so they're not doing it. So we're going to start seeing the division between people who are doing that and people who are not doing that. And uh, unfortunately, when I say we've done spirituality all wrong, we have, it's become trendy, which um, I'm not mad at that necessarily, as long as people are, you know, you find your way to your soul any way that works for you, right? But um, it's not authentic. When you're doing it for the way it looks and you're not connecting to the real practice of it, that's something else, okay? So I think we're gonna start seeing some people crumble. This could be uh, people who maybe have made a lot of money trying to pretend like they're out ahead of the game when really it was just all, I'm hearing smoke and mirrors. It was all smoke and mirrors. And that's what it is. I think we're waking up to the smoke and mirrors. Now, it's a process that's going to be going on and on and on. But, you know, at least we'll get a little bit of relief from what has been happening. Now, this is not going into um, jumping to conclusions about people or what you have heard that they're doing or anything of the sort. This is laying down saying, no, I want the facts. I want to see for myself what's going on here. You feel me? So it's a deeply transformative time. Um, things will be falling away in your life. Things will be falling away out in the world. Um, we'll be seeing people acting out. We want to be careful with the thought forms, okay? The thought forms that kind of lay over all of us. Yeah, it's not... We still haven't hit it on the head yet. See, everyone's trying to intellectually figure out what's going on. And they're saying right now that that's not going to help you. You'll get as far as a human brain can get in understanding it. The real intelligence is in your heart and in the cells of your body. Those are what we call, and it sounds so sci-fi, but also kind of awesome, light codes <laughs> in your cells. Okay, so that's where all that comes from. When that's being activated... Okay, and you're not overthinking it and you're not getting an ego rush from it, the information can come in. And then a lot of times, they're telling me a lot of times once you have that realization, you don't want to talk about it. You might try to share it with somebody who is also on that path with you, but for the most part, it's it's unexplainable. You you can't put it into words. All right. So let's be aware of that. Again, I didn't move my table. Normally this would be in front of me. <laughs> 
Make sure you're engaging in things that you enjoy, okay? We have three of Ariel. Do what you love. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even read this. Okay, that was awesome. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. We got to be more cooperative with one another and engaging in something that makes us happy. You know, I was just uh, on this social media thing where someone was going live and we were just all in this cheerful place and laughing and joking and we just had the best time. It was very uplifting. I was saying today I went to a new stylist. Thank you. Again, I'm not going to blow my hair out like this. <laughs> I don't have the patience, but you know, he was just so lovely and I felt so grateful to meet a new person. I, I am not somebody who likes going to salons. P.S. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just telling you. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, she's rambling again, but I started going down the road cause I can't do the cattiness or the pretentiousness or, you know, someone trying to treat me like I'm their therapist or something. <laughs> like it's supposed to be relaxing. Right. So I started going down the road of like the barbershop salon. Any of you out there who are in the same boat as me and you don't like going to salons because of the cattiness, try try that kind of dynamic with the barbershop salon thing. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. But it was such an uplifting day and I found myself actually being able to relax into this moment of self-care, which normally would make me kind of on edge and I would literally get anxiety going to the last actually few hairstylists that I had because they unloaded on me <laughs> like it was a lot but this is that kind of thing give yourself a chance you know and if you aren't enjoying your life why and it's not fair enough to say it's that person's fault I could sit here and say well it's all those people from the past you know who weren't very good to me and that's why I didn't enjoy you know going and getting my hair cut but that's not fair I they are who they are they can be right where they are I chose to keep going until recently, right? So that's the kind of revelation that we're having here. You know, for anybody here in the U.S., when we have Thanksgiving, I used to travel home for Thanksgiving all the time, and then the flights became, like, nutty, and there were too many flight cancellations. So I don't go home anymore. I Skype with them, or I'll do a Zoom call with them. And people will say, oh, that's so sad. You spend Thanksgiving by yourself? It's awesome. Okay, nothing against my family. It's just uh, I wake up on Thanksgiving. I go for a beautiful hike. I make a low-key delicious dinner for myself. I get on Zoom with them. And then I just have this whole day to maybe do some writing. Or you know what I'm saying? Like it's about changing the perception. And then I would put that out there too. Let's not every holiday feel bad for everybody. <laughs> right? Because like, oh, you know, that's so pathetic or whatever. Let's not put that energy around it. Sometimes it's fantastic, okay? So just bear that in mind. Again, the idea with that card is to do something that you love and be cooperative with one another. And part of the cooperation is not judging. We can't just assume that because we're uncomfortable in this example that, you know, just because we would be uncomfortable being by ourselves that everyone's uncomfortable. You feel me? Oh, hi, this like jumped right in my hand. Yeah, Nina Gabriel. So this says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. That, that always tells me that this, I got some in my eye. Uh, this could be like a time where there are plenty of like earth emergencies. Okay. Um, natural disaster times. I mean, certainly be on your guard. Don't be scared. Be aware. All right. So there is that. And of course, there could be a lot of shakeups and things happening, family dynamics. This is being a little overloaded. That's why, yeah, because I'm hearing decompress. You know, it's like one of my favorite words. I even have a whole decompress series that I did a few years ago over at Gumroad. And uh, that's kind of what this week is about. There's going to be so much going on that you just need a moment to just enjoy something. That's... <laughs> Way more powerful than people realize. Because <laughs> we could just laugh that off and be like, oh, how silly. Like, okay, what? Go have fun. That's going to change my life. Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact. By the way, thank you guys so much for that. I put that Hollywood story up last week. You guys, your comments were so funny. <laughs> I loved it. Loved it so much. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. The Empress. All right. 
So we have Archangel Gabriel, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Yeah, it's time to step into the future. <laughs> it's definitely time to really embrace. I, I feel like this is um, embracing beauty, embracing, like it says here, creativity, creative projects, giving birth to something new. And this could be manifesting a whole new chapter in your life. That's what's going on here. But it doesn't come without, you know, looking at the things that were set in front of you to work through. You feel me? Yeah. And it really is coming into your power. Very much coming into your power. If you don't like how your life is going, what will you do to change it? Right? And if you say, hey, I'm powerless, I'm powerless, blah, blah, blah. No, you're not. You are not powerless. You might have to take it one day at a time. But eventually, you know, you'll get there. Okay. Come on, cards. <laughs> I want to wait until one actually feels really, really right. So, oh, there's one. Okay. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Change your perspective. See, working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Cooperation. We were saying that. So we all need to start being nicer to each other and not be so competitive. See, what is even the thought form around competitiveness? Or shutting down your emotions. How many of you have witnessed somebody do something completely heartless just to get ahead or just to be first? You know, again, it's all about that competition. And for what? Where to get anybody at the end of the day? You feel me? All right. I'm sorry. This is messy today. I don't even know what my background looks like. Oh, I have a flower. Okay. <laughs> so that's there at least. All right. Let's get a color card and then I'm going to do the other decks. Literally have not opened them yet, so I've cleansed them, but I haven't shuffled them or anything. So some of you might say, well, then the reading's not valid. That's cool. I mean, you don't have to listen to that portion if you don't want to. I totally get it. Okay. The color card, there it is. White, lighten up. <laughs> the number is 24. Be done. Reduces to six. It's time. It's time for all of us to be in a lighter face. And I feel like this is like, again, that darkness, that blanket of darkness that's been over us. It has just sort of made us dull. It has made us not want to appreciate one another. It's made us impatient, right? I actually, I went to a, a restaurant to get takeout. One of my favorite places here in town. And uh, I walked up and the woman asked if you know she can help me. And I said, oh, I'm just debating between this and this. And she immediately went, I was like, all right, girl, like <laughs> she was not busy. Don't start with me. Don't nobody say I did nothing but waitressing for a good portion of my life. Don't. OK, don't do this whole thing of, oh, well, they don't have time for you to make up your mind. Mm, OK, please. It was two seconds and I gave it to her. But again, it was sort of like there's already a defensiveness there. Like she thought I was going to take forever and I didn't. It was two seconds. Right. So let's not jump to conclusions. It's a silly example, but <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions about what somebody is up to or whatever. Because remember, we're dropping our energy onto someone. Think about someone who maybe is innocent, but nobody believes that that person is innocent. Now there's an air of guilt around them because they actually are guilty. No, it's because everyone's putting it on top of them. We need to clear that away. So I'm going to get on to the new decks here. If this is where we part ways, have a good week. I love you. Uh, if you want to hang out here, I'm going to shut off the camera and start it again so I don't get that weird skipping thing. It happens. So stay tuned while I get these things out of their boxes. <laughs> it's always hard to get these open at first. So the, the first one I'm doing here is Guardian Angel Messages Tarot by Radley Valentine. Uh, illustrations by Dan Craig. Now I got to meet Radley Valentine. If you do not know who he is, you need to find out who he is. Okay. He wears sparkly things and I love him for it. Okay. Like he wears sparkly shoes, the craziest sparkliest shoes that make me so happy. And they're not even my shoes. Okay. Listen. All right. So we've got, Ooh, Ooh, look at my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I gotta watch it back there. I got candles. Look how pretty. There's the back of it. I don't know if you can kind of see like that. Yeah, gotta watch my mic. Cute, cute, cute. 
and they're sort of, I feel like they're sort of matte. So that makes them YouTuber friendly. Okay. So let me just kind of do, this is just how I do it. Just kind of go through and cleanse the deck. Not much to it. Some people like to knock on it or put sage around it um, or the candle. Some of you are going to be really bothered if I don't do that because that one's a pretty popular one, so hang tight. I know, this isn't that interesting, but it's a messed up week. It's not messed up, it's just I'm not in my schedule. Okay. All right, let's shuffle it. Let's see what else. Oh, Lord. Should we take it? Let's take it. So we have Seven of Earth, Investment, Assessment, Patience. These are cool. I like them. The cardstock, you guys, it's becoming like a card review. Cardstock's not heavy. It's not heavy, which I'm not mad at, actually. So there is that. Uh, yeah. What have you invested your time in? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then it does say assessment and patience. Listen, here's the thing. This whole week is really about having to go back. My hair getting all weird. <laughs> um, having to go back and look at what have I already put my time and effort into and how do I, uh, how do I make it better? Or do I need to stop that goal entirely? What truly serves you? Okay. There is, like it says here, there's going to need to be a little bit of patience with that process. Getting clarity, just getting a lot of clarity. And for some, it's a little painful. It is a little painful. It's sort of like I, I didn't want to know that or I didn't want to see that. Yeah, strength. And it's 11. Something something that's your, uh, something that's coming into your awareness this week, it's for your highest good. And it is for the highest good of everyone involved. Courage, compassion, perseverance. So you'll get through it. You're going to come through. And when you do, it is a magical, magical moment because you're free. You're very free. I just went through that. I had a huge breakthrough around a certain area of my life. And it was painful to go through, but I was like, but I'm relieved. I'm relieved that I don't have to keep pretending anymore. I'm relieved that I don't have to keep putting up with this anymore. I can walk away. I don't, I don't need to invest, okay, the card said investment. I don't need to invest in this dynamic anymore. So I think that's a lot of what people are going to be encountering. You know what I'm saying? All right. I love how these shuffle, by the way. They're nice and smooth. So the lighter cardstock actually makes it easier, I think. Okay. Yeah, leave me a comment in the comments down below if you like these decks. I have another one. It's the new Moonology deck. I saw that. I got really excited. <laughs> Very excited. Okay, what do we have here? Awakening. See, it's a bunch of stuff that's coming to light and you might not know what to do with it. Pause, perspective, we were saying that throughout the entire reading, and selflessness, that's more cooperation, okay? Not being so me, 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 me first, me first, me first, right? It's ridiculous how people will try to just have, you know, power struggles any chance they get. And for what? So they feel more important? It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. How many cards did we pull? Three? All right. Let's see what else we got here. I'm really hoping that I don't oversleep for our little premiere. <laughs> if you don't see me in the chat, I probably overslept. I My sleeping patterns have been very messed up. Comment down below if you've been experiencing that too. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me just tell you something. Okay, so just so you know, brand new deck. I just, I don't know if you're going to see that. I just opened this and there's already, it's already kind of, where is it? Oh, it's right up here. It's already chipped a little bit. So just be aware of that. Yeah. And that was the first shuffle. So again, I like how they shuffle, but yeah, they're already banged up on the edges up here. And that was one shuffle. I don't think it's like, it's not that big a deal. Cards are meant to be banged up and shuffled. <laughs> so it is what it is, right? 
I'm going to try to shuffle them differently because they're a little fragile. Oh, okay. This one? King of Fire. These are pretty. I like these a lot. Inspirational, charismatic, innovative. See, this is what you're clearing the path for. So you can get out of this old mindset. You can get out of this old approach to your life and know that there are other possibilities, right? A whole fresh approach. So that's, again, it's nice and freeing. It's nice and, uh, eh, I don't know. It, it will become, I just dropped one of the cards. <laughs> it will become a relief. I don't know that it will be a relief for everybody initially, but all right. These things are always so... <laughs> The first, <laughs> so here is this next one. It's the moon. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do that again. Moonology manifestation oracle cards. Yasmin Boland. Artwork by Lori Mena. Cute. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. There's the book. Okay. Cool. I've I've never even looked at these, so I might pull them out. I don't want to really read from the book. I mean, I guess I could, but these are pretty as well. Thanks for hanging in there with me if you're still here. All right, what do we got? Oh. Oh, no, these are like the first deck where it's like pretty self-explanatory. I love it. All right, so there is the back of the cards. These are great. I got them right, right in front of my face. There you go. <laughs> these are pretty cool. All right, so let's do the same process here. Feeling them out. Cleansing them. These ones are kind of a little, a little thicker than that deck, that first deck. And these are nice and matte too. Have you guys noticed that a lot of people who are launching these decks now, they're making them matte? Because YouTubers are using them all the time. And we're underneath these lamps. And yeah, you could turn your lamps this way or that way, but then... Everybody going to see my dark circles under my eyes so they don't get the glare off the cards? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to look like that. <laughs> no. Then everybody leaves comments. You look sick. You look terrible. Are you okay? Are you? I'm supposed to picture you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right. These shuffle very nicely. I like this. They're clumping. It's brand new. So, yeah. This is just kind of like a trial run card reading. There's one sticking out. Okay. They're all clumping, so I'm only going to take one. Ooh. These are gorgeous. Okay. Okay. I see you. First quarter moon in Gemini. Speak your world into being. See? Uh huh. See? <laughs> I don't know why I, that was so dramatic, but there you go. <laughs> so be careful. Of, again, it's all about perspective. Watch how you're talking. It really, you know, the first time I heard somebody say, you know, where do you victimize yourself? I, it was like a punch in the gut. And I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, well, you've had so much happen to you. I'm like, I, I know. Yeah, that's why I'm talking about it. And I, I really had to wake up to the fact that, you know, it was good to talk about it. But I was getting to a place of like powerlessness as if I was, as life was happening to me kind of thing and that there was no way of getting out. And I knew that, but you don't know it until you do, right? So like you can know it, but I'm talking about full body, cell memory, cell intelligence, opening that up and knowing it throughout your entire being. That's the whole other thing. But when you do, when you figure it out, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Because there are so many cards this week, I'm not going to do the B-roll. i got to hurry up and get these <laughs> edited because I started recording really late. All right. Here we go. Uh, this one is Last Quarter Moon in Sagittarius. Practice gratitude. Yeah. we got to shift our energy and, and what we're doing here. A lot. We can't be complaining so much. And I know, guys, listen, when we are coming from a pained place, it's very easy to kind of be tired just be tired and go, what in the world? You know, why is it happening? What? I was having one of those days. I dropped one of my crystals. I, oh, my crystals are like my kids. <laughs> like it was, it was bad. Um, it's okay. It is, it'll be fine. But I was like, oh, you know, um, but we have to, we can't just let our day kind of set off and like, okay, what, what is going to happen next? Oh my God. And start complaining. I get it, but we need to come out of that. Okay, and I was able, once that happened, to kind of get myself 
shifted out of that mindset because I felt myself going, oh, no, that, that can't be a good omen. <laughs> like, that can't be a good omen. This is how I'm starting my day. Oh, no. And then, you know, I made sure I put light around me. I lift it up and lift it out. So, you know, make sure you're not pulling yourself down with negative emotions, negative self-talk, you know, that sort of thing. But thinking you can't do something when you absolutely can. Full moon and Capricorn. Take a reality check. Yeah, you're not powerless. You are not powerless. And also, I really feel like this speaks to not doing any spiritual sidestepping. I feel like if you're part of this crowd, you're not probably one who does that. Okay? That's more <laughs> elsewhere. I don't know. <laughs> the crowd here doesn't usually get into that. But this is uh, getting a reality check on your goals, whatever you decide that you want them to be. Okay? So there might be some change around that. And you realize, okay, well, I'm going to need more education or I'm going to need to do this, that, and the other. It's that sort of thing. All right. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. That's what we were saying right from the beginning. The angels will put something in front of you that you need to see. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I love it. <laughs> These are beautiful, guys. All right. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. These are more like validating cards for the messages that we've already been giving. So... I may use these for the dailies that I'm about to record. So we'll leave it there. As always, guys, I'm sending you so much love and take care.